Welcome back everyone and today we're gonna have a little bit of fun and test your knowledge around blood sugar level regulation, insulin resistance, and diabetes. Let's get started. Is insulin resistance mainly caused by aging and genetics? Both genetics and aging can increase your risk for insulin resistance, but so can other factors including living a sedentary lifestyle, eating a diet rich in refined carbohydrates, and living a life with chronic stress. Insulin resistance is when your cells have a diminished response to insulin. Insulin is a hormone that's secreted by the pancreas once you've eaten a meal or snack containing carbohydrates. It signals the cells that there's sugar in the bloodstream and to uptake that sugar. When your cells are not responding to the insulin that's being produced by the pancreas, essentially your blood sugar levels remain high. Having chronically high levels of blood sugar levels is really, really dangerous. The reason being is that chronically high blood sugar levels can lead to damage of the blood vessels throughout your body, which can lead to things like heart disease, poor vision, kidney failure, nerve damage, gum and teeth infections, and bone and joint problems. Are there just two types of diabetes? There are four types of diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune condition where the pancreas does not produce insulin at all. Type 2 diabetes is when the cells in the body are insulin resistant. Essentially, they don't respond to the insulin that's being produced or they have a decreased responsiveness to it. Type 1.5 diabetes is the slow gradual degradation of the beta cells in the pancreas which are responsible for producing insulin. Last but not least, we have gestational diabetes that occurs in pregnant women, usually trimester two and three, and it's most similar to type two diabetes, but usually resolves after pregnancy. Can eating minimally processed carbohydrates help lower your risk for developing diabetes? This is true. When you're choosing carbohydrates, choose ones that are minimally processed and limit your amount of refined sugars in a given day. This will prevent any major spikes in your blood sugar levels and crushes. Here are some examples of minimally processed carbohydrates, and here are some of refined carbohydrates. Here is how minimally processed turns to a refined carbohydrate. The take home message here is that even if you did have genetic predisposition to insulin resistance, you still do have control over your own health and well being. Choose foods wisely, move daily, ensure you take deep inhales and exhales, and comment below if you have any further questions. I'm here for you, and until next time, relish every bite.